At the end of 2022, a veteran Motley Crew member Nikki Six snagged a gorgeous home located in an area of California known as Lake Sherwood. The one acre property costs six. $6.9 million and offers almost 8,000 square feet of living space with colorful and stylish decor inside the main house, along with a detached pool house that boasts its own bath and kitchenette. Aside from this new mansion, Nikki and his wife sold their former estate in Westlake Village back in 2021, and they continue to own another main residence in Jackson Hole, Wyoming. Nikki Six and his wife Courtney decided to buy themselves a new California property in November 2022 after selling their other one in the state. The charming European style mansion cost the rock star $6.9 million, and it's located in the picturesque area of Lake Sherwood, which lays between Westlake Village and Thousand Oaks, overlooking the Sherwood Reservoir. Built in 2001, the Six's new residence sits on nearly an acre of land, and inside, you'll discover pops of color throughout its 7,800 square feet of space. The main house boasts five bedrooms and six bathrooms over two floors, while a separate pool house comes equipped with its own bathroom and kitchenette. Past the gated and private drive, the house has stucco exteriors and a terracotta roof, while there are stunning and landscaped gardens surrounding it. Aside from all those rose bushes and fruit trees that make the property oh so picturesque, there are also amazing views to the Sherwood Country Club and out to the nearby mountains. The front of the property boasts a motor court and four car garage while a Juliet balcony hangs over the ornate double door entrance. Walking in, there's a spacious double height foyer that flows into public spaces on either side. In this case, the formal living and dining rooms. Each of these rooms has a fireplace, while the one in the living room is situated at the end of the space, in between two recliners. In total, Six's new mansion has four fireplaces throughout, another of which can be found in the spacious family room. This room has a ton of plush looking furnishings to unwind on, while the entire room easily flows out onto a covered outdoor dining terrace. This also connects to a casual dining space that lays beside the home's kitchen. The kitchen offers up plenty of room but looks slightly dated as if it hadn't been updated since the home was constructed in the early 2000s. But despite this, the kitchen still packs in all you need to cook and entertain, such as a handful of wooden cabinets, a center island, a viking range, as well as a bonus butler's pantry. Nikki's new Cali crib also comes with an indulgent master retreat, which not only has a sprawling sleeping area with fireplace, it also has its own sitting area, private balcony, dual walk-in closets, and a massive ensuite. In the master bath, there are two vanities, a jetted tub, glass shower, and even a dressing area. Further highlights of the new six residents include a downstairs office slash library, another ensuite bedroom on the main level, and three more located upstairs. While the interiors are impressive, the main attraction of this property is undoubtedly the backyard. The stunningly landscaped grounds look more like a resort than a family residence, offering pops of color all over thanks to the flowers and gardens. There's a courtyard with a fountain, as well as a secluded outdoor kitchen and bar nearby, as well as that pool house. Of course, it wouldn't be complete without a large swimming pool and raised spa, which is surrounded by a sun deck and a fire pit area that looks ideal to entertain. While Nikki Six, who hails from San Jose, California, can utilize this new mansion anytime he finds himself in LA, he long has called his main home Jackson Hole, Wyoming. For the past couple of years, Nikki Six has been living his best life in Jackson Jackson Hall, Wyoming. And not only does he talk about how much he loves it, if you follow him online, you can tell. He's shared footage even of a moose on his Wyoming property, so how much closer to nature can you get? While he's purchased that Lake Sherwood home in California, it's assumed Six will be using that just when he needs to go to LA for work and has no plans of leaving his peaceful lifestyle in Jackson Hole. While it's unknown how much the Six family residence costs the rock star or where exactly it's located in Jackson Hole, the designer of his home has shared the stylish and customized interiors online. Designer Carl Whitman completely redesigned Nikki and his wife Courtney's Wyoming home to fit their taste, using a lot of wood, leather, and animal prints for some edginess, and combining that with luxury finishes, crystals, and more. The end result for Nikki's home is a high-end mansion with a western feel fit for a rock star. In 2021, Six spoke on a podcast about his decision to leave Southern California where he lived for over four decades and relocate to Wyoming.
Wyoming, which is the least populated U.S. state. He said, my wife Courtney and I sold our house in Westlake Village, California. We sold all of our cars and sold all of our furniture and kept the stuff that was really important to us. We shipped it to Wyoming and some stuff we still have in storage here. Moving up to Wyoming was something really great for me and my wife and also how we wanted to raise our daughter. Looking at photos of the six residents, we can see there are open plan living spaces such as what looks to be a great room with double height sloped ceilings and floor to ceiling windows framing an epic brick fireplace. The circular dining room boasts more high ceilings and windows enclosing the space, as well as chic and modern light fixtures cascading over the table. This spacious kitchen has all the latest chef grade stainless steel appliances, as well as center island with snack bar seating covered in faux fur. While this opens to a space with a longer wooden dining table and French doors, to a patio. Other highlights of the home include more sitting in family rooms that have all been designed beautifully, as well as a lower level with dedicated entertainment space and even a music room for the rock star. There appears to be at least four bedrooms, including the epic master suite, which is full of open space and all the personal amenities you could need. The faux fur and rugs make Six's bedroom more cozy and warm, and the fireplace located here helps as well. Other highlights here include a lounge area set up opposite the bed. Other highlights here include a lounge area set up opposite the bed, doors to a private terrace, double height wood beam ceilings, and a luxurious ensuite. The attached bath features two black crystal chandeliers over top a double vanity, a copper soaker tub, and more. And there's also a large walk-in closet painted a shade of red. Six also explained that moving to Wyoming helped him tap into his creativity, stating in an interview, it's great for the creativity. I feel all kinds of ideas are just floating around the air. Kind of like Keith Richards said he's never written a song. He just plays guitar all the time and then the song just shows up. That's kind of what it's like for me up here in Wyoming. I'm just writing and stuff's turning into a book and stuff's turning into songs and you don't know how, where it's going. That's really exciting. Finally, let's take a quick look at the Los Angeles home Nikki Six sold in 2021 to move to Wyoming in the first place. He lived in this home for seven long years, purchasing it in 2014 for around four million dollars and it was located in Westlake Village in an area of Southern California that's near Thousand Oaks and bordering Ventura County. Nikki listed the mansion first in September 2020 for 5.7 million dollars but it took nearly a year to sell, finally being sold for 5.18 million dollars. Much like his Jackson Hole abode, this residence was entirely customized to suit Six's taste while he lived here. During his stay, he transformed spaces such as the bonus room and made them more unique. This 1,200 square foot room was turned into a movie theater and lounge boasting crimson red walls and animal print carpet underfoot. The 10,300 square foot floor plan offers five bedrooms, eight bathrooms, and plenty of other unique spaces. There was a gallery style front foyer, a library, and a billiards room with wood paneled walls, while other interesting details included botanical murals in the living areas and floral wallpaper above the kitchen and dining rooms. Then the Rockstar's former master suite held a private living room with fireplace and a spa style bathroom which opened up to the backyard. The grounds of the mansion had a fountain fed swimming pool and spa surrounded by terraces and rolling lawns while elsewhere there is a guest house. Now that we've explored the homes of Motley Crue's Nikki Six from California to Wyoming, that's gonna wrap up this house tour. But before we leave, answer me this. If you could choose one less populated and more remote state to live in, which would it be? Let me know where you would find a peaceful place to stay in the comments down below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram to chat. I'm Kara the Vampire Slayer, and if you'd like to check out another tour before you go, then stay tuned for this one where we check out the homes of another Motley Crue rocker, Tommy Lee. Bye! Tommy Lee is best known for being a member of the 80s rock band Motley Crue, as well as his highly publicized love life back in the day. 
As you might have guessed, his homes over the years were fit for a rock star like himself. While he's trying to offload his 10,000 square foot former mansion in Calabasas, his current home in Brentwood is less than half the size, but it's even more stylish, some would say. In this video, we'll take a look so you can be the judge. Once upon a time, the whirlwind love story of Tommy Lee and Pamela Anderson was an absolute obsession with the media during the late 90s. In fact, that steamy tape they released all those years ago has got so much traction over the years that even now, more than 20 years after its release, we're getting a biographical miniseries from Hulu that's going to go over the whole saga of Pam and Tommy. Of course, these days, the two aren't together anymore. They stuck it out for three years and had two kids before calling it quits. In the subsequent years, Pam would marry a further five times, while Tommy would only marry once more to a woman 24 years his junior, internet personality Brittany Furlan. Yo, Tommy, your girl's gorgeous, man. Look at her. Yes, she is. These two first got handsy with one another during a night out for sushi in June of 2017. Six months later, they'd announced their engagement on Valentine's Day in 2018. A year after that, and the two would officially tie the knot on Valentine's Day in 2019. Shortly after remarrying, Tommy would quickly list his spectacular Calabasas home, a residence that he's owned since 2007. Then he and Brittany began looking for the perfect house to turn into a home together. It took them a couple of years to find it, but they finally have, shelling out $4.15 million for a lavish Japanese-inspired Zen paradise in Brentwood, California that you guys just have got to get your eyes on. Trust me, this house is mesmerizing. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer bringing you another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment. This one on the homes of Tommy Lee and Brittany Furlong. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit me up on Instagram to chat. Now let's get into this video. Before I show you what the couple's new place looks like, first I want to give you a taste of Tommy's former home, a six bedroom Calabasas mansion that he's been continually trying to move off the market for close to five years now. The creation of this house dates back to 1987, the same year that Tommy Lee and Motley Crue released one of their biggest selling albums, Girls, Girls, Girls. 20 years later and Tommy would move into the place himself when he was still relatively fresh from his divorce from Pamela Anderson. He he must have been looking for a place that would keep him distracted because at nearly 10,000 square feet of space, this hillside spread on a cul-de-sac in the guard-gated community known as Vista Point features everything that he could need. This includes a fully equipped recording studio, a screening room, concession bar, and even a wine tasting room. Now in terms of the living spaces, the unique floor plan flows around a central tri-level atrium and features towering plants wrapped in fairy lights, not to mention a attractable open air roof. One glance at these lavish interiors and it's clear as day that Tommy marches to the beat of his own drum, if you'll excuse the pun. Whether it's the Buddhist inspired iconography, the colorful wallpaper, the mirrored ceilings, a koi pond, walnut flooring, or glitzy chandeliers, there's always something new to look at in every corner of this place. Over on the main floor, there are two gigantic reception rooms, one of which features an elaborate grand piano beside a decadent marble fireplace. A little a bit further down that same floor is the master suite, which boasts a walk-in closet, a spa-style bathroom, and direct access to the backyard swimming pool and spa combo that overlook the tremendous views of the city. Not to mention an extremely dark color tone that's very much Tommy. Of course, the kitchen is also as gourmet as it comes with a center island that can double as a breakfast bar, marble countertops, and an array of integrated top-of-the-line appliances. There's even a second, smaller kitchen in the basement that fuses a gothic-like medieval decor with modern-day appliances. Meanwhile, the entertaining space out back offers the perfect setup for guests, including a built-in barbecue, that colossal swimming pool, and a lavish outdoor seating area. And for any car enthusiasts out there, while well, Tommy's home comes with a sizable garage big enough to fit as many as 13 whips. 
As I mentioned off the top, around the same time that Tommy began to get serious about Britney was when he decided to move on from this place and find something new. My best guess is that this house reminds him of his bachelorhood, and well now that he's a married man, he wants to start making new memories in a family home. After originally putting this mansion on the market for just under $6 million, Tommy has slashed the price over the years, and it's currently listed for about $4.5 million. So if any of you are looking to live like a verified rock star, well, you know where you can do it. All right, now let's move on to Tommy and Brittany's new place. After house hunting for a couple of years and even going so far as to contemplate becoming neighbors with Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, Tommy and Brittany finally found the home of their dreams in Brentwood, California. And honestly, it's probably not just their dreams, it might be all of our dreams. I mean, just take a look at this place. In April of 2021, the couple closed on this home, reportedly paying $4 million, which while it might sound like a lot, it might have actually been something of a steal considering how ritzy this home is. To begin with, let's make it clear, Tommy is swapping space for style. His former Calabasas home was a massive 10,000 square feet of space, but this home is less than half of that, coming in at 4,300 square feet. That being said, this four bedroom, three and a half bath home features some inspired zen living spaces that are worth the price of admission alone. I mean, even the exterior of this home is a work of art with its wraparound glass and some inspired artisan woodwork. So before we check out the interior, let's quickly take a look at the outside because honestly, the outdoor spaces rival every bit of the interior ones. For instance, stone pathways wind through a dense garden of ferns, herbs, and bamboo, all of which leads to a waterfall-fed pool and a one-of-a-kind Japanese tea house. There's also a nearby koi pond with a small wooden dock. Other features include a barbecue island and a dining deck to make entertaining as extravagant as possible. Now moving on to the inside of this half acre home, the expansive kitchen and dining area sports Japanese tansu cabinetry and some Brazilian mahogany countertop. As for that dining room, I don't know about you guys, but I'd probably be too distracted checking out the floors, table and surrounding glass enclosure to spend much time eating. And yet another wing of the home, there's also a secret spiral staircase that connects a bedroom slash office space to a nearby yoga studio. Speaking of the bedrooms, the master bedroom is a certified retreat and offers up double height ceilings, heated floors, a window wall with built-in cabinets, a dual bath, and custom design closets. Two additional bedrooms can also be found in a separate wing on the other side of the residence. So what do you guys think? Was this move an upgrade for Tommy or Brittany? Or a downgrade? Leave your thoughts down below over the next minute or two, but before we get out of here, I've got one more story to tell. You see, while Tommy and Brittany were apparently waiting to move into their zen-inspired paradise, they had to spend a few weeks living in a rental. No big deal, right? Most of us have had to live in a temporary home at one point or another, but how many of us have had to contend with ghosts while doing so? As it turns out, Tommy and Brittany are convinced that the house they moved into was haunted after after a trash can in their kitchen would continually open on its own. Brittany would uncover that the guy who had previously lived in this place was named Tom. I mean, what are the odds? And he died of a heart attack prior to Brittany and Tommy moving in. So while the garbage can lid wouldn't always move when it was asked to, as soon as Brittany shouted out the ghost's name, the lid immediately moved, freaking both her and Tommy out. While I'm sure they're both far happier now living in their assuredly more serene and ghost-free Japanese garden of a home. Are you guys buying this real life haunting or have Tommy and Brittany played us? Anyways, that about wraps up our Tommy Lee and Brittany Furlon house tour. After checking out this rock star's homes, what did you guys think? Which was your favorite? Let us know your thoughts down below. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I will catch you all in the next video. Bye.